In today's video, I will teach you how to flip or mirror images in GIMP. Let's get started. Mirroring an image is a common technique in image editing, and GIMP provides an easy way to achieve this using the Flip tool. Here's a detailed guide on mirroring images in GIMP. The first method is by using the Flip tool. Use the keyboard shortcut Shift-F to activate the Flip tool. Alternatively, you can find the Flip tool in the toolbox by right-clicking the Transform Tools icon and selecting Flip. By default, the tool is set for horizontal mirroring. Hold down the control key to switch to vertical mirroring. The cursor arrows indicate the current mirroring direction. In the Tool Options panel, you can set the default mirroring direction and adjust other settings. Then click once anywhere on the image and it will flip in the chosen direction. Mirroring an individual layer is the default setting for the flip tool, so make sure that the tool is set to the desired direction. And take note that the Flip tool has four transform modes – Layer, Selection, Path, and Image. Choose between Layer and Image modes based on your project requirements. Now, to achieve this effect, first open the Image menu, then click Canvas Size. Then unlink the Aspect Ratio by clicking the Chain Link icon. Double the Width or Height in the Set Image Canvas Size dialog. Duplicate the original layer using Ctrl Shift D or right click and choose Duplicate Layer. Switch to the Flip tool and make sure that it mirrors in the same direction as the canvas expansion. Then click anywhere on the image to mirror the new layer. Now to reposition the image, switch to the Move tool or use the shortcut key M for a quick tool switch. Now use the Move tool to reposition the layers to achieve the desired mirroring effect. Use the control key to constrain the movement to a straight line. This quick project provides a hands-on experience with mirroring effect, enabling users to experiment with symmetry, create double-sided printouts, or simply have fun with image manipulation in GIMP. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.